the Python pickle module is used to perform serialization and deserialization of Python objects. Serializing a Python object means converting it into a byte stream that can be stored into a file or into a string. Pickle data can then be read using the process called deserialization. To store a pickled object into a string, use the dump as function. To read an object from a string that contains its pickled representation, you can use the load s function. Let's see an example on how you can use the pickle module to serialize a Python list. After importing the pickle module, we define a list and then use the pickle dump s function to generate a bytes representation of our list. Then we store the pickled string into a variable and use the loadS function to convert the byte string back to our original list. The letter S at the end of the dump S and loadS pickle functions stands for string. The pickle module also provides two functions that use files to store and read pickle data. The name of the two functions are dump and load. With the pickle module, you can save different types of Python objects. Let's use the dump as function to pickle a Python dictionary. Then we can use the loadS function to get the dictionary back from its pickled representation. You now know that we can also save dictionary objects into a string of bytes using pickle. The pickle module also allows to store the pickled representation of a Python object to a file. To store a pickled object to a file, use the dump function instead of the dump as function. To read an object from its pickled representation stored in a file, use the load function. First of all, we will open a file in binary mode using the python open function, then store a pickled representation of a dictionary in the file, and then we will close the file. The data.pickle file will be created in the same directory as your Python program. Also, remember to close the file when you're done with it. Now, let's look at the content of the file. You will see that data is in binary format. Then, read the bytes from the file and get back the original dictionary object using the load function. This time we have opened the file in read binary mode, considering that we only want to read its content. The next thing I want to do in this tutorial is to see if the pickle module can also be used to serialize nested objects. Let's find out if a Python nested dictionary can be serialized and deserialized using the pickle module. Update the dictionary used in the previous example to include dictionaries as values mapped to each key. Then write the pickle nested dictionary to a file. To do that, we will use code that is identical to the one we've used in the previous example to create a pickle representation of a basic dictionary.
Now convert the pickle data back to the nested dictionary and confirm that the format of the dictionary is correct. As you can see, the nested dictionary looks good. Now, I want to find out if I can pickle a Python custom class. Let's create a class called animal that contains two attributes, name and group. Then create one object and pickle it into a file. And finally, read the data using the pickle load function. As you can see, the attributes of our object are the ones we have used in the definition of our Python class. It's time to find out if we can save multiple objects using pickle. Using the same class defined in the previous example, we will save two objects into a file using the pickle module. Let's create two objects of type animal and pickle them into a file as a list of objects. Then, let's use the following code to access each object using a for loop. Until now, we had to close file objects as soon as we didn't need them anymore. What other option we have? Instead of doing that, we can use the with open statement that takes care of closing the file automatically. Let's see how our code to write multiple objects changes when we use the with open statement.
And now let's use the with open statement also to read the pickle data. As you can see, we don't have to call anymore the close function on the file handler every time we read or write a file. So far we've used the pickle module with variables, but I wonder what happens if I try to serialize a lambda function. Let's define a simple lambda function that returns the sum of two numbers, and then try to use the pickle dump as function to serialize the function. As you can see, we get an error back. This means that the pickle module doesn't allow to serialize a lambda function. As an alternative, you can use the deal module that extends the functionality of the pickle module. If you don't have the deal module installed, use the command pip install deal to install it. Now import the deal module and generate a serialized version of the lambda function using the deal dump s function. To unpick all the data, we will use the loadest function of the deal module. It works fine. When we deserialize our lambda function, we get back the function we expect. If you want to know more about other specific use cases of the pickle module, have a look at the article mentioned in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Codefather so we can be in touch and we can keep learning Python together. See you in the next video.